Hello everyone's everyone's. I am here for my review of Real Housewives of Salt Lake City Season 3 Episode 9. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I am Lady T. I like to do reviews on scripted reality shows, reality shows, and also do reactions. If you're returning, you're one of my peoples, welcome back. So we don't have any comments from last week's video, so we're going to jump right on in. I apologize in advance. My husband, he is on his headphones and he is watching something that he has most likely watched 150 million times. So if you hear laughing in the background, a loud squeal, a holler, that is him. I do apologize. So y'all, Jen says she's stressed. She has dealt with anxiety since she was young. And now that she has all these indictments happening, it's just making matters worse. And I'm sitting here like, ma'am... I don't know if you realize, but you have contributed to the stress that you're going to. Because if you wasn't out here, you know, allegedly stealing from the vulnerable and the elderly to, like, live this lavish lifestyle, you wouldn't be going through the things that you're going through. Just saying, like, you could have, like, done something, a legitimate business, where it wasn't, you know, allegedly defrauding people. And now you want us to feel sympathy for you because your anxiety is amped up. And the only people that I feel sorry for is the people that you allegedly stole from and your children because neither of them asked for that. Yeah, you're talking about how you guys are spending hundreds of thousands of dollars on lawyers and how that money could have gone to Sharif. And I'm like, yeah, coaches, the money that coach makes. That could have been helping little Sharif go to med school. So he, in turn, could, you know, be out here helping people in the world, you know, being a doctor and everything. But you chose, no, let me, like, live this lavish lifestyle off of, you know, allegedly stealing from the vulnerable and the elderly people. Like, no, ma'am. Like, I don't have sympathy for you right now. It's hard. I'm sure it is. But, you know, this is... This is this is what you've done to yourself, and I'm not going to feel sorry for you about it. And I'm going to continue talking about how you allegedly stole from the elderly and the vulnerable people. So Heather, Dana, and Angie H. They talk, and Dana she don't see it here. For, she don't see it for Jen, and how she is like a horrible person. Like she don't understand how the how Jen has friends when she out talks to people like the way she does. Like, I understand where Dana is coming from. And I'm like, I want her on the show. I, I do. Because she was like, and, and I feel the same way. It's like, I cannot and I will not do with somebody all up in my face yelling, not being able to control their emotions because they're having a temper tantrum because they're not getting their way. Like, ma'am, you were what, close to 50. I'm not, I'm not, age, I'm not shaming people for their age because I am. I'm closer to 40 than I am to 20. So, you have a child who is almost 30 years old. You are grown, grown. And you should be able to, at an age where you can control your emotion and not have a tantrum tantrum when, people, when things are not going your way. That should have ended when you was a child. And I, as another grown person, I am not going to sit here and let you act this way towards me. I'm going to call you on how you were acting, whether you like it or not. Now, this may may mean that we're not going to be friends, and I will be completely okay with that because at my big age, I'm not going to do that. I'm all about, if I'm going somewhere, I don't want to have to deal with your emotions because you have a meltdown because of the things that you've done. No, you shouldn't have did those. Next next thing let's get something fast if we going out to eat i don't want you mad at me or you mad at the table because you wanted to do this and you always get in your way and the one time they didn't let you get your way you causing all this fuss nope not gonna do it not gonna do it at all so the ladies they go out of town and I am not going to be shady towards them for overpacking because that is me. I am them. But I am not to that extent. I will have a carry-on suitcase, my backpack, and my purse. Like, carry-on suitcase that got my clothes, like, an extra pair of shoes. 
carry on that got my medication you know toiletries laptop tablet things of that nature maybe come if i if however i'm doing my hair at the time but if i got passion twist i'm not bringing no come on the birds because i'm only gonna be out of town for a week but these ladies they going for this is with me going for like a week that's what i'm carrying these ladies are going for three days and they got four five suitcases i'm like why i mean are we going that many places where we need to change the clothes because most likely when I'm going out of town, I'm staying with family. And I got on my calf tans. Love a calf tans. Looking for more. But y'all got all this going on. Now, I know I didn't went off. And I told Kareem in the last video that I did on the Oval that I was not be going. I, I said I wasn't going to go off. And here I didn't went off. But that I said that on that video. We here now. Now, Kareem, if, this, if you're watching this. I'm sorry, I I didn't even last the doggone episode. I didn't I didn't even last two videos, and I'm going off on a tangent. But anyways, shout out to Karima. I Whitney, I they scared of they scared of Jen. The point blank in a period. Jen, she is she is she's getting a tantrum because she doesn't have the big room. We always give Jen a big room. We gave Jen a big room last time because of what she's going through. We got to give, oh, she going to prison. She might be going to prison, so she going to be in a small cell. So why does she need to be rewarded? Because of something she didn't do to herself? I didn't understand that the last time. Oh, well, Jen, you're going to get the big room because you're going through some things. So because she was out here allegedly stealing from folks, we got to give her the big room because she's going to be in a small room allegedly. Oh, child, please. So, we're already going through the drama because Jen and her good friend Angie K, you know, they're supposed to be co-hosting this trip. But Ken Angie K is like giving the tour and it's looking like she is a host. And she says she's going to get the bigger room. Jen does not like this. Because Jen always gets the big room. Jen is already upset because NGK is doggone showing everybody the rooms and all of these things. But I, my thing is, this is supposed allegedly her friend's house. So if we're going about that storyline, you know, of course she would be like, hey, these are the rooms. This is my friend's house, so these are the rooms. We're going to pick the rooms. Now, I... Child, should I would like a big room too, but I'm not all of that. I'm not gonna fight you for a room. I got a bed, I got a shower, I got a toilet, I got a sink. I'm good. But Jen is a big kid, and she has to be in control of everything. So as they're standing there and Angie is talking, Jen decides she's going to pour a drink on Angie K's head, and everybody's looking like, really. You, you just do a drink on this woman. Something is wrong with Jen. Because Angie's like, what the, what the hell did you do that for? That was completely uncalled for. And Jen was like, what's the big problem? And she takes Angie's hand and then dumps it on her own self. Like, see, it's all fun. No, you did that because you was mad. And Angie was like, have to say what? Oh, no, you didn't. And then you had to pull a, see, it's just a big joke, and you threw that on your head. Mm-mm. I don't play about that. Mm-mm. No, we're, 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 not, don't, we're not putting drinks on each other. This was the situation when y'all was in, girl, if y'all was at, and y'all was on that peddling bar, and y'all was throwing drinks on Whitney. That was different because everybody was doing drinks on everybody. Even though I was like, that could, that shouldn't that, that could throw off your pH balance and just shoving, not shoving, but pouring alcohol down up your skirt. Because she was like this. Her legs was up and they was pouring champagne down. Uh, y'all seen what was going on. That still, that should seem like that should have thrown off her pH balance. But like, everybody was having fun. Y'all was drunk. Y'all was throwing, y'all was... Throwing the champagne everywhere. That was different. You single-handedly poured that on that woman's drink to because you was being a child and you was being messy and you wasn't getting your way.
Where was I at? Ooh, I didn't went past. Uh, okay, where is where we at? Okay. Now, y'all, Lisa somehow makes this all about her. How is it that you was not even in this situation, but you managed to make it? Lisa, you... you I'm not even going to say you got a little Lisa for that, but Lisa will manage to finesse into a situation that has nothing to do with her. Like, how is it that Angie K got a drink poured on her by Jen, then Jen took Angie K's hand and pulled it on her like, you poured a drink on me too, that's, and she, you know, she, you know, Jen will be good. Well, you poured a drink on me too, even though I was using your hand. Lisa didn't manage. I'm so mad at myself because my friend, she got a drink poured on her. Ma'am, this is not about you. Stop trying to make it about you. Like, you didn't have nothing to say, so you decided to. You were so hurt because you didn't say anything. Child. So, Angie K is upset because, like, I know this heifer did not just throw this drink on me. Like, I paid for your husband's birthday party. I was just supposed to open up my house to you. And I could have bought my husband, my daughter a horse with that. I mean, I did buy my daughter a horse and then show her daughter with the horse. But, like, I'm going to send her a bill. It's like, oh, my goodness. It's like, she's been, you know, they're saying she was out here conning people. I feel like I've been conned. You felt like this all this time, and you was okay with Jen, with Jen allegedly stealing from folks. But now that she did pour this drink on you, you have a whole other opinion on her. See, that these, these ladies are not slick. They know what Jen allegedly did was wrong, but they're going to see it in her face. But as soon as she do something against them, they're going to bring that up. Jen just sitting here talking about some. We've been tw friends for 20 years. It was just a joke that I poured a drink on you. I have known my friend since I was five or six years old. And never has she poured a drink on me or me poured a drink on her. The only time we had a fight is because somebody said I wanted to fight her. And they came and told me she wanted to fight me. Instead of asking questions, we fought. And didn't talk for like two weeks. Then one day she was somewhere and I was somewhere. And I asked her why did she want to fight me. She said I didn't want to fight you. They said you wanted to fight me. And we looked like hmm. We would have been talking these two weeks. Had we just listened. Just, if we had to just ask the question. We wouldn't even have fought. I know that I agree my, again. I'm sorry. I know I'm going off on a tangent. Where we at? <sighs> But if you ask me, Jen was upset because she didn't get the big room like she always does. And Angie K was not going to let her get her away just because she was whining. Okay. So, they are on the Sprinter van. And Angie K says how she paid for Costa's party and she hasn't been reimbursed. But, like, I don't know because Heather was like, well, I was at your house when y'all was getting, y'all was, you know, getting things together for the party. But it's like, did she say the party was going to be here? And, like, she was like, I'm just trying to figure out, like, if the party was just supposed to be at your house, how is it that you were spending, like, $15,000 on flowers and dancers and food and stages and all that other stuff? But Jen was like, I gave you some jewelry. She was like, yeah. And then Jen and her confession talking about some chat. I'm going to get it back because, you know, the authorities are not going to roll up on me as I'm walking down the street talking about some That's restitution. So, some of the ladies are not liking how Angie K is, like, blasting Jen for owing her money and all these things. And, like, Jen is going through some things. So, like, that's really messed up of Angie K. Like, so, we're supposed to coddle Jen because of some mess that she allegedly got herself into. So, we just supposed to let Jen cut up and act several fools and talk to people any old type of way. 
Uh uh. Nope. See, this is where I miss Mary Cosby because Mary Cosby was like, "Why are we doing drinks on people?" Jen, you're acting like a child. Like Mary would have been calling people out left and right, and that is what I miss about Mary of the Cosby. She would have been calling people out left and right, and I would have been here for it. So, y'all, that was the gist. If I left anything out, all means leave a comment below. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Feel free to subscribe. It is free all day, every day, free 99. Make sure your notifications are on so my video for Facebook is a video. You can click on it. You can like it. You can share it to your people. And you can come over and be one of my peoples. If you're already one of my peoples, oh, welcome back. Y'all know what to do. Tell your people to tell their people to come over and be one of my peoples by clicking that icon above. This is Lady T signing off. Have a good one.